everyone welcome back to another video so today's just a quick one um for a bit of nail art because a lot of my videos lately have been quite long so i thought it was about time i popped a little short one on <laughs> um so i'm just using cat got the cream here as my base for these nails i did decide in the end to do one um in a blue and then one in a purple to match the gel paints i was using so this is the one that matched the purple the best so i'm just painting that over cat got the cream it's not an issue and then this is the one that matched the blue one the best. So those two are going to have glitter over the top. The purple one is here with Heidi. And then the blue one is going to be Deborah. And they're both magpie glitters. So I've just popped those on and cured them. And then I will dust off any excess. Pop a layer of Give Me Strength over the top to smooth them out. And then if needs be, I can buff, buff them as well. If I don't need to buff, then I could just go straight in with top coat. Um, obviously if I do need to buff then you just take off a of give me strength, buff them and then pop your top coat on and then they're all done nice and smooth. So that's those two, both beautiful glitters. So once I've done that and I did buff a little bit, I'm just popping a top coat over the top. Obviously most of you know that I don't use the branded gel polish top coat with my designs that I do during lockdowns, just because obviously the branded ones that I use properly are a little bit more expensive than the cheapy ones you can get on Amazon. So I just get a couple of bottles of the cheap ones just for the practice nails, but I wouldn't use them on clients. So once I've done those two nails, I can get involved in getting involved and get on with the next three nails um so they're going to be cat got the cream as the base and then obviously i am using the two glitters as well just to make sure they all match nicely so i'm just popping those glitters over the nail not in any particular way just to making sure that there's enough on there because i am going to be putting some nail light over the top so if i only put a little bit i might end up covering it all up anyway so i am covering a lot of the nail and then once I've done that, I can go over with some Give Me Strength to make it all nice. Actually, no, I think I did like a diamond with this. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, I didn't do either. I know my top coat. <laughs> so that one was obviously quite smooth. I didn't feel the need to overlay it or anything. So I've just put some white top, some no wipe matte top coat. That's a tongue twister over the top. I'm now going in with the light blue gel paint from Magpie with my dotting tool. Super, super easy. Just popping some patches on there. And then as soon as I've done that, I will go on to purple. I feel like I'm talking really quick, but it's just because it's such a fast video. Um, but I wanted to explain what I was doing. So I'm just doing the same thing again, but with the purple one. Um, and then once I've done that, I will cure that for 60 seconds, make sure it's all nice and cured. And then I can go in with the next step, which is going to be some black detail with the black gel paint and my striper brush. Okay, so after that, I'm popping on a layer of Give Me Strength just to make sure it's all nice and smooth, ready for the nail light over the top, because if it's all lumpy bumpy, it makes it a little bit difficult. So I'm just going in here with a nice big line on this one, because this is going to be the middle nail. And then this is how I do leaves. I'm just popping some dots, well, more like little kidney beans, <laughs> um, onto the nail. And then I will turn those into leaves. This is just the way that I do leaves. Other people do it differently, which is absolutely fine. You just need to find what's best for you. I just go through the top with my striper brush to create the point on the top and then I will bring them down into the stem and then I will go and just make the basically just make them all a little bit more rounded if that makes sense um just to fill in the bits that equal up to the points if that makes any sense it probably doesn't but obviously luckily you can see what I'm doing so it's not a problem um and then if I need to I can just make them a little bit longer once I've messed about with them but that's how I do leaves and it's the easiest way that I've found um for me personally if you don't find it easy then obviously you can do whichever way you like so once I've done that all I need to do is top coat you may notice that when it comes to top coating I had I actually had some dots on the middle nail which is this one um I forgot I'd done those dots and didn't put it in the lamp and end up top coating while the white was still wet which was just a disaster obviously so I just wiped off the top coat and the white and then decided to just go in with what I was supposed to be doing anyway if you've just heard a big beep I'm really sorry about that it's my phone about to die but that's it for this video anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope you're all well I'll be back soon bye